Hello everyone, it's uh, WordPress 6.5.2 and they brought the option to load the Google fonts and let's uh, compare it now with the font hero so you can decide by your own if it's still relevant to have it uh, or not. Let's uh, open it in a new tab. I'm going to go to the editor and styles, edit and press on the typography and there is a manage font uh, fonts icon. Let's go to the install fonts and they done this quite nicely where they ask you for a permission to connect to the Google API. Uh, and let's allow it. And let's find a Roboto font because the Roboto have uh, supported all the languages. So usually you probably need a uh, light, normal, then you need a uh, bold and let's go with the extra bold uh, sometimes uh, when the font is specific uh, you need uh, italic versions as well but uh, let's assume that for our test purposes you can get away with uh, just uh, shifting the font to be italic let's install Yeah, the robot is installed, uh, you have the, the four variations and you don't have too much specific uh, settings, you can just uh, enable it, disable it and that's it. But I'm more interested in uh, how big and how optimized these uh, font files are because usually we uh, talking about the frameworks and uh, how big the framework is uh, can you remove the unused class etc and if it's a 10 20 or 50 kilobytes but uh, nobody's mentioning the fonts that can be quite large and as you can see here uh, these are the robot fonts I can see that they uh, move to WOFF2 uh, it's much uh, nicer to move it uh, from the older compression uh, but uh, you can see that uh, the font is 50, uh, 64 kilobytes each weight and this is a lot especially if you add one more uh, for a title and maybe one more for a subtitle it can be like half of mega easily uh, but uh, let's now compare the font here. So we can go to the settings and Google Fonts. Sorry. Roboto. And uh, let's use the light, regular, bold extra bold and uh, usually uh, if you making website in English you only need Latin so let's optimize our fonts uh, we also have the font swap uh, because when you're loading the website on the 3G or the mobile when you're outside the user should see the content first they shouldn't wait for fonts to load uh, to read the content, especially if they are searching for a phone to contact the, some service, etc. So they shouldn't wait for it. But uh, let's at least uh, check for the for the sizes. Okay, we have those, and let's open the Google Fonts Roboto. You can see the difference right away we have uh, proper naming but uh, you can compare it for yourself uh, each font size is uh, it's uh, 16 kilobytes because it's optimized we remove the special characters the Chinese Vietnam Vietnamese uh, and etc but uh, you can see and this is just one font uh, we also adding the 
the better loading with the font swap we're also adding the preload so you can define which font uh, should be uh, used uh, right away uh, without with the proper loading uh, also uh, we added the option to if you add more just a second let's add one more so if you and one more you can now uh, switch uh, switch the order so when you opening the font family in, uh, in Gutenberg you can choose the priority as well but I still want to highlight that the font size it's still not optimized and if you are making the high traffic websites uh, you definitely need to consider the optimization because this is still a huge performance impact uh, I don't want to cover adding the other font services uh, we also in the font hero support the Adobe fonts uh, most of the most of the designers are prefer the Adobe fonts because they can create the groups of the fonts per project and just import it but since the uh, Gutenberg doesn't support uh, that one. I still don't want to go into that comparison. I just wanted to uh, showcase you how the font here is still relevant today, even if the WordPress added the free option to add Google Fonts. Thank you for watching and bye!